Hi there, welcome to Two Doves on the Sofa. I'm Charlie. And I'm Mike. This is our plant. And uh, today we have a very, very special guest. Uh, special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so my name's Jenny and I work as part of the product and feature on team at Maiden. Brilliant, cool, cool. So you're also uh, one of the guest lecturers for the Academy, aren't you? Yes. So you came down and you gave uh, an introduction to product owning. Yes. How did it go? I think it went well, I hope it went well. <laughs> so, <laughs> now it's time for some real <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> say, is that what you brought me here for? No, um, no I, yeah, I, I mean, it's the second time I've done it. Um, and uh, I obviously just kind of end up um, telling them a little bit about what um, it's like to be a product owner um, sure. on an everyday to day basis. And, Give a little bit of a fun exercise and insight yeah, into the, my life. The exercise is a really good bit of it. It's quite nice to have um, like practical elements to it as well. I think that really kind of translate yeah. what you what you do on an everyday. Yeah, um, I'm just talking about it. Yeah. Although I think my favourite part was the beginning of it where you show your calendar because <laughs> yes. it's pretty much wall to wall meetings <laughs> yes. all the time, which is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting. One. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, um, so in terms of product owning, is it something you've always done, or what? How did you come to product owning? No. So my background's actually in mechanical engineering originally, mm -hmm. uh, and I used to work as a uh, product development engineer for knees. So knee implants, actually, not just knees. So that's just like, <laughs> what's a tech company? I've never heard of knees. Knees, yeah. no. Uh, so it's um, basically design knee implants. Um, oh, that's cool. Um, and uh, so I've always, I've always enjoyed, um, wanted to work in healthcare, effectively, yeah. and with or in some form of elements of it, mm -hmm. and then. Um, I found that in my last job, I just ended up wanting to do more. I was more interested in almost like the, almost the project management parts of things, yeah, but okay. not fully. I didn't, uh, I didn't really want to become a project manager, but I liked certain elements of it. So it's almost the, like the planning of the work, and the, rather than chasing up with the work sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I think, um, I think what I liked was having that oversight and uh, and designing solutions, but not being the one to do them. The art of delegation. <laughs> exactly. I think ultimately it's probably something like that. And um, so, did you have any experience of doing that kind of thing before? Or when? Yeah. Well, the company I worked with was quite small at the okay. time, and uh, well, I mean. Maiden is relatively small, uh, this was probably about three, four hundred people, so, okay. you know, small in the grand scheme of things, sure. but, uh, but you, uh, the department of the development engineers was quite small, mm -hmm. so as soon as anything happened or any projects, we were effectively almost project managing okay. in a way, yeah. um, but, uh, but yeah, I decided I wanted to do a bit of a change, uh, so I uh, knew someone at Maiden actually, and uh, basically a sort of applied uh, for a role there as a product, well I, I think I just uh, applied as uh, so a uh, handed in a spontaneous application oh, right, actually. Like, just give me anything. Yeah. No, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think effectively we were chatting, uh, the, uh, my friend and I, and, uh, and I, was, I was saying that oh, I was looking at some other things but I wasn't sure what, but yeah. along the lines of project manager that he basically went, well we always need project managers so you just send me an email <laughs> and basically that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, in terms of uh, Maiden being agile uh, yes. and using Scrum, is that is this the first time you yeah. the first place? How have you found that transition going into not just a different role, but also working yeah. agile as well? I think well, obviously, in my last company was very, very waterfall, and mm. you know, manufacturing is as a per how it you know, usually works. And uh, to me, actually, before my interview, I basically googled what is Scrum, <laughs> what is agile. Wikipedia. <laughs> I think I had about three pages of like nice. my own homemade notes and I was like, I have no way. And I still went to the interview and I was like, I really hope they don't ask me about this because I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, uh, but um, I feel like uh, almost, um, you know, in, in a way I feel like almost like my eyes were open when I started because I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, and, yeah, you yeah. Know, and uh, I think it's just that way of, um, 
I mean, you know, you, you manage the work, not the people, sure. and everything around that, and uh, it suits me as a person really, really well, yeah. um, and I, I like how it's coordinated in Maiden and how that works, really. Cool. So. so one of the things that you did on our guest lecture was you kind of told the students um, about how not to say no, yes. but to say no in a very nice way. Yes. Would you say that that's probably the most important skill to have? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just one of those, like, obviously uh, the, the main thing of, of uh, a part of the product on a roll is about um, effectively you are the representative and the face of the stakeholders in the product that you work yeah. with and um, unfortunately you don't ever have one mm -hmm. stakeholder but you have usually quite a few of them yeah. uh, and they never ever want the same things <laughs> quite often want actually contradicting things yeah, yeah. um so it's about i think just about i think the main thing is just about how can you be a voice of 20 different people who all want different things mm -hmm. and do that at the same time i think that's a that must get quite difficult sometimes juggling all the different stakeholders that yeah, I, it, I think it definitely does, and I think that's a part of the role in itself. You know, yeah. you, you uh, one of my colleagues always used to say, you, you know, you end up being um, as long as if everyone's moderately content, you know, <laughs> you're in a good place. <laughs> Promise nobody's really upset. Yeah, <laughs> basically, it, it does. It does make it really hard, uh, yeah. but I think that's part of the challenge, though, and it's probably effectively you get to talk to loads of people and ask them questions about what they want and why and. Um, and also gives you ideas of, you know, um, mm -hmm. trying to think of innovative ways to solve problems effectively. Cool. Even though I'm not actually problem solving by coding, I'm yeah. problem solving by designing solutions. Oh, there's all sorts of different kinds of Yeah, problems. and, uh, and I, that was a part of my engineering job that I didn't want to lose. Yeah, and effectively, sure. kept able to keep. So. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I love it. Okay. Good. Well, to be fair, we know how difficult it can be. I mean, for the sprints that we do with the, <laughs> the student, we do like practice test projects and stuff, yeah. and we have to act as a product owner, and we're constantly forgetting <laughs> what to do. Rest of the time. It's definitely not one of my best skill sets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think there's a there's a difference between just being able to do it and then doing it very well, which it sounds like you're on the right side of, which is brilliant. Oh, um, <laughs> hope so. Finish <laughs> yeah, the compliment. There we yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning the PO skills. There, there you go. Brilliant. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I think that probably covers up what we've got for today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, from all of us, thanks very much and catch you next time. Bye. Bye.